Today I'm here to show you how easy it is to install Sloan LED LED Stripe. LED Stripe is an LED based large profile border tubing product. It has become the border tube system of choice for many retail, restaurant and lodging chains. One of its unique features is its daytime color. LED Stripe can be used to add architectural definition to any building or structure. LED Stripe can be mounted to any surface that will accommodate conventional fasteners. If you have questions about the information in this program, ask your supervisor or contact us at Sloan LED as we are happy to assist you. Before we get started, it is important to remind you to watch this complete video and to read through the install guide before starting. Doing this can save you time and money. It is a good idea to do a pre-site visit. This will help you survey materials needed for the job. Make sure to check electrical building codes as these may be more stringent than federal codes. It is always important to stay compliant with all these codes. Tools and supplies. You will need the following supplies shown here. Refer to your install guide for the complete list. If you're installing in an exterior location, make sure conduit connectors are rated for outdoor use. As part of Sloan LED's commitment to customer service, we offer a free layout service for our, all of our products. You can get a custom Sloan LED layout through our customer service department. This will be extremely helpful in determining the number and lengths of lead stripe sections and power supplies required for your installation. You will also want to refer to an architectural drawing or a field survey of the building to determine where lead stripe is to be installed. At the job site, Determine the length of each side of the building or continuous straight run where lead stripe will be installed. Break these lengths into sections of 30 feet or less. This will help you identify where your power supply will be located as a power supply runs two 30 foot lengths. Make sure to disconnect power before servicing or installing any electrical product. To install the mounting buttons, Snap a chalk line on the mounting surface where the center of the lead stripe will run. Space the mounting buttons one and a half inches from the end of each lead stripe section and every 24 inches on center throughout the length. To install lead stripe sections onto buttons, slide in or roll onto lead stripe mounting buttons with the center bracket facing up. Next you will need to secure the section in place using number 8 pan head screws to secure center bracket once all the sections are located on the mounting surface. Drill pass through hole for power hookup. The best place for the pass through holes are every 30 feet. Remember if installing in temperatures below 40 degrees Fahrenheit leave a gap between each section to allow for expansion at warmer temperatures. If the temperature is warmer than 40 degrees Fahrenheit butt the ends up together. Be careful not to compress the end caps. For hard to reach areas or when installing custom bends, Sloan LED offers an optional slide and mount rectangular mounting button. Slide mounting button onto the back of the lead stripe and use a pan head screw to secure to the wall. Corners should be installed with one section overlapping the other. Corner covers can be snapped into place. Sloan LED offers optional joint covers and corner covers. Lead stripe was designed to make field cuts easy. Lead stripe can be cut in the field in approximate 3 inch increments. Prepare lead stripe for cutting. Grip lead stripe with mounting bracket pointing upwards and gently pull right connector to seat the circuit board to the right edge of the tube. To cut a section, measure the length you need from the large connector to the cut mark nearest the required length. Use a hand or power miter saw to cut on the black cut lines. Make sure to read the label for the proper side to cut. After cutting the side with the small connector, that side is scrap. Gently pull LED board out of tube. Deburr cut end of the LED board and lead stripe extrusion with enclosed sandpaper. Make sure to remove all debris from the LED board and lead stripe extrusion. Brush Humus Seal 1B73 conformal coat onto cut edge of LED board to seal from moisture. Allow to dry for seven minutes. Do not apply conformal coat to cut edge of extrusion or end cap. Warning: Avoid getting Humiseal conformal coat on the end of extrusion. Conformal coat will interfere with end cap bond. After Humiseal has dried, press the circuit board as far into the tube as it will go. Ensure end of extrusion is clean and free of any foreign material. If any Humiseal adhered to the extrusion, gently sand it off. Avoid sanding the edge of the LED board. Apply Weld-On 16 in a generous continuous bead 
to both cut ends of the lead stripe extrusion and bonding surface on the end cap. Do not use silicone or other solvents or adhesives. Press the end cap onto the extrusion and make sure it is aligned with the cover, the entire extrusion opening. Hold a light amount of pressure and let it dry at least for five minutes. Masking tape can be used to maintain pressure on the cap for the curing period. Warning. Failure of field end cap to maintain a watertight seal may lead to water ingress and product failure. Field end cap must create a watertight seal. All debris must be removed to promote a good end cap bond and to avoid electrical failure. Use of other types of saws and or use of a dull blade may lead to chipping or cracking of the extrusion or create a cut that cannot be sealed resulting in product failure. Power Supply Connection You are now ready for electrical connections. Refer to the wet location 24 volt DC power supply guide included. Make sure to check local electrical building codes. It is always important to stay compliant with all codes. Remember to make sure to disconnect power before you service or install any electrical product. Identify primary wires, secondary wires, and the location of the mounting tabs. Secure power supplies to a junction box. Power supplies may be joined together in a wide array of configurations. See the install guide for examples. For wet locations, use a junction box that is UL listed for wet locations. For dry locations, use any UL listed junction box. You will need to have a licensed electrician connect the primary. You will notice that on the power supply it only has one leg for the secondary connections. Connect two independent legs of 30 feet or less to this one output leg. No need to worry about the polarity as this product is insensitive to positive and negative leads on the DC power supply. It is important to note that you need two legs of 30 feet to get 60 feet on one power supply. This cannot be done with one leg. To join wire connectors together, make sure the tab is aligned with the locking clip. Once connected, hide wires behind the lead stripe section. Use joint covers to cover all joints. Seal all wall penetrations with silicone to avoid water damage. To ensure adequate ventilation, it is recommended to mount power supplies without any secondary enclosure. Space power supplies by standard knockout locations. The Sloan LED 24 volt DC power supply is wet, damp, and dry rated and does not require a secondary enclosure. It is important to ensure power supplies are not overloaded by verifying output current is less than 4.2 amps. It is recommended to use photocells or a timing device to make sure power supplies are off during the daylight hours when the sign illumination is not needed. The daytime value of this product will still provide a colored border even if it's not illuminated. Well that's it. Power up and make sure everything is working. We designed lead stripe to be easy to install and if you follow these instructions carefully you shouldn't experience any difficulty. We'd like to thank you for using lead stripe. For more information about this product and others, please visit our website at www.sloanled.com.